It's hard to believe, right? I mean, on rare occasions, luckily rare occasions, a student here at the University of Chicago gets, gets harmed or sometimes shot, right? Every few years, you know, you see it in the newspaper, it's heartbreaking, it's always terrible. But most of the time, it's somebody that you don't know, so it's distant, right? And, and this one really hit home, right? I mean, I, you know, I first learned that it was a University of Chicago student, then I learned it's Yiran Fan. I mean, I, I, just, I just couldn't believe it, right? I mean, I, I, mean, I, I it, it, it hurt, right? I mean, he a, he's a, was a very capable graduate student. He would have gone on to do great things. He would have gone on to write magnificent papers, been a, you know, possibly a major contributor to, uh, to the science. And the remarkable thing about him was not only was, did he want to pursue his own interest, he really believed in collective scholarship. He helped his classmates. I mean, not only did, was he giving me feedback on my work, he, he was helping his classmates with theirs. He, he viewed everybody as in this together. We want to advance knowledge and economics. How do we do it together? And I, I truly admired that. At this point, it is emotional. For me, it's a big loss just because we started working on something. But uh, as usual, that most, you know, I have to say that uh, he just has, this, has a potential. Right? It's just a PhD student. But I think that for the community, it's a huge loss because the students, his classmates, like the research professional list that uh, who were after him that got uh, so much benefit from him they he his presence already touched uh, everybody i hope that this outpouring of uh, sympathy and support and sorrow will uh, uh, make uh, uh, his family feel less their pain and uh, we have to go on